The city of Raleigh is taking the first step to reconnect with the citizen advisory councils that help guide new development for decades. The neighborhood group started in 1974 to get more people involved in the city's future. Then you may remember in 2020, council blindsided the CACs by suddenly disbanding them. WRL's Matt Tallhelm shows us how the city's working now to give more people a voice in decisions again. I went 44 times to public comment. That's the final count Christina Jones racked up, speaking to city council as chair of her CAC. I, I was there to make sure that our voices were heard and that they didn't forget that we were still here. Before she ousted the incumbent for the seat she now fills on city council. I think that we lost a really, really big chunk of community engagement when we um, dismantled uh, or defunded our CAC. That happened at this meeting in 2020. Council stripped the CACs of their influence in recommending approval or denial of rezoning cases for new developments. Now rezoning cases are controlled by developers. Michael Lindsay leads the Hillsborough Wade CAC, which continues to meet virtually to discuss projects around their neighborhood. We were used to the city support and that was yanked out away from us, but we have we have kept up. Now they have a home to meet in person again in the city's community centers. The city's opening the doors to one center in each council district for CACs to meet for free. This is part of a bigger strategy to give more people a voice as the city grows. I grew up here. It's a totally different city than it was growing up. And we want to make sure that we continue to have diverse opinions, thoughts, experiences, at the decision-making table. Taisha Hinton manages the city's new community engagement office. We really hope to look at community engagement holistic, to involve CACs as well as other community groups. Jones says this is just the beginning of getting people involved, like this community meeting she held with Councillor Mary Black. All right, we are elected to represent residents of the city. So if we're not talking to you, if we're not trying to get your feedback, then we're not doing our job. In just a few weeks, the Community Engagement Board plans to present some options for more opportunities for people to comment at city council meetings. Matt Tallhelm, WRL News, Raleigh.